So we have some interesting cards today. No surprise, right? The opening card that we have is the Empress. The challenge that we're facing today is the Ace of Pentacles. The way that we're going to get through the challenge is the Hierophant. And then the overall outcome for today is the Judgment card. The reason why I think it's so very interesting is because the Empress in the Major Arcana of the Tarot represents Venus. The Hierophant is the sign of Taurus. And then we have the Judgment card, which represents the planet of Pluto. And right now we have, coincidentally enough, Venus in opposition to Saturn, which Venus is over in Leo, Saturn is over in Aquarius, and then the planet that's in Taurus, which is actually in square relationship to both of those other planets, is Uranus, which happens to be in Taurus. So we have some interesting energies being highlighted today by way of the Tarot and the Major Arcana that is showing up. And keep in mind that Major Arcana are life lessons that we have to work with, that we don't really get any choice over. And then in between, kind of anchoring all of these energies together is the challenge that's posing today, which is the Ace of Coin or Ace of Pentacles, which is some kind of opportunity or some gift that's being given to us that's of some kind of material value or material concern. You know, we may have material concerns on our mind by way of all the changes and shifts that are going on for us. Now, having the opening card of the Empress is reminding us to put our feet on the ground and to really take in our sensory experiences. Now, if you are spending any time outside these days, you'll notice that there are a lot of fruits that are ripe on the trees and are in a time of harvest. And there's this time of bounty, being that things have grown all year long, and now we have the opportunity to make the most of it, right? To actually be at one with our environment and take advantage of this window of time that is being presented to us before we go into the time of winter, right? So it's the time of harvesting and gathering things to prepare to get through like the more harsher seasons that we are approaching. And if you look out at your environment, you'll also see like wasps and hornets starting to build their nests and other creatures kind of collecting things. You know, up in Paonia where I live, there's been a lot more bears around, of course, because they're trying to stack their calories before they hibernate for the winter that's coming. And so there's something that's being, um, that's calling us, you know, to go out into our environment, to go out into nature, and to really um, anchor ourselves in that and appreciate nature for what it has, particularly because Venus is in the sign of Leo right now. And it's really putting our attention our and our energy towards like the bounties of the heart and the bounties of experience by way of what we feel called to develop in our own being, what we really feel called to grow towards. And consider that we have, you know, the sun right now in the sign of Virgo, along with this new moon that we are transversing to, which is a time of new beginnings and, and creating routines that really nurture us and take care of ourselves as we're, you know, going into the time of the winter. Sorry, I'm trying to block out the sun so that it's not like there's intense rays right over my head, but alas, that's what we're dealing with today. Uh, the challenge, of course, is how are we going to take a hold of this opportunity and are we willing to take it into our hands? You know, what are we doing with this bounty that we have available to us right now? And the way we're going to get through that challenge came in as the Hierophant, you know, for us to pay attention to the shifts and changes that are happening and to really uh, take advantage of what is available to us right now. Now consider that the Hierophant is governing the sign of Taurus and Taurus we have the planet of Uranus right now creating a lot of change and instability um, particularly in you know food shortages and agricultural systems where we're seeing this more and more. And so I think it is, you know, asking us to pay attention to how we can, you know, possibly 
store some of the harvest that we're collecting or process it in some ways um, to put it aside to take care of the body as times are approaching. Um, I know I personally am looking at, you know, making certain jellies and jams and, uh, you know, dehydrating some fruits and collecting certain berries to make certain medicinals and therapeutics that I'm going to be offering at some of the festivals that are coming up because nature does provide that for us. And right now it's a matter of taking advantage of this time that we have and working with it, you know, um, kind of working with the order and what is in our environment that's calling our attention to it right now. We also have uh, the judgment card showing up as our ultimate outcome for the day. And the judgment card, again, is associated with the planet of Pluto. And Pluto, of course, is the planet of big transformation and big change. And we're in this like rebirthing process by way of this card, right? It's reminding us of that. It's also pointing to where Pluto's sitting right now by way of astrology and transit, which Pluto is in the sign of Capricorn. It's retrograde. It's in the tail endings of that sign. And it's creating a lot of change to, you know, the way that social order is happening and the way that our governments are organized. And in a lot of ways, it's calling us to look at things in a new light. And there's some epiphany or some realization that's in the process of becoming right now that we've all been kind of cooking over quite literally since around 2008. Like there's this pressure cooker that's been put on all of us in some way, shape or form, wherever Capricorn has been sitting in your personal natal chart. And this is creating a lot of realization and, you know, awareness around things that we need to let go of by way of our behaviors and things that we've kind of, you know, ignored and kept ourselves in the dark about and calling us to transform that so that we can really make sure that we're living a life on purpose and that our actions and behaviors support that which we value. Because, you know, a lot of us have been kind of brought into this world in this, you know, certain context, which has imparted certain values into our lives and certain beliefs into our lives and a lot of that has been under a great amount of change you know specifically in the last couple of years as we've had this working together between you know Pluto over in Capricorn which is you know this active earth kind of energy as far as where Pluto's been sitting and then we've had Uranus over in Taurus which is you know a receptive or resistance resisting earth kind of energy as far as the sign of Taurus and Uranus has been creating a lot of change in stability and within that change it's really asking us to transform how we show up and our own direction that we're going in life. So a calibration in a lot of ways of the life path that we're on and where we're putting our energy and I think that we're becoming more and more aware of the direction that we need to go toward and what we need to let go of so that we can move in that direction. So pretty powerful cards considering that we have three major arcana in the four cards today. But I hope you all are well and doing well. And of course, I wanna let you know that I am uh, offering readings again. If you'd like to schedule one with me, I have some time in the coming weeks before I go back into deep festivals for a, a couple weeks so just wanted to put that out there i hope you're all well and i will see you again soon bye for now